I already know what he wished for. Bitches. <laughs> Those are probably level three zombies. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely a level three, yeah. Bro, let me let me fucking show you how this zombie sh is done. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today we are back with another dun dun, dun, dun. Look back. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but we are in a stellar mood because today is actually Dan Dan's birthday. <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> Yeah. This is our 20 millionth time singing the fucking <laughs> song. Every time you wash your hands. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's so grim and dark. Today's video is going to be really intense because for his birthday, we couldn't really go out. So we have um, this large, big, ginormous bowl of oxtail, fatty beef, brisket, tripe, meatball soup with some rice noodles. It's a pho. And then on this side, we have three cheesecakes. We've got Oreo, regular with fresh strawberries, and a tiramisu cheesecake. Which one's your favorite? Chocolate looks good. And what do you want for your birthday? Your 23rd birthday. You want some bad bitches in the DMs? I got you, boo. You want some? Honey, I think he's just, he wants to eat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what you need for your birthday? What? Dun, 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 dun. Because now that you're somewhat stuck in LA and you can't go to school, you can't go back home, you should actually check out Unbound. What is that? Yes! <laughs> Did you get in a good birthday present? Thank you, Unbound, for sponsoring today's video and Dan Dan's birthday present because today's vlog or today's video is sponsored by Unbound, which I'm super excited about. You guys probably already know about Unbound, otherwise known as Lumaired on this channel. If you don't, I'm gonna leave a link in the description because I know that most of us are at home or trying to be home. Maybe you're like, man, now that I'm back home from college on this break, I realize college is expensive. And I'm just starting to think a lot about the ginormous cost of all of this. Unbound, they're a really awesome Awesome service because if you click the link in the description you let them know what kind of degree you want how long you have to get your degree and how much money you can spend on your degree they will email you back within 24 hours of what I like to call a college journey a road map may I say where they'll let you know what classes you don't need to take because they don't even count towards your degree how long it's gonna take how much it's gonna cost and all of that jazz for completely free within 24 hours and let's say from there you say you know what Stephanie I like unbound I like what they're doing for me you can actually take accredited college courses through Unbound. And what that means is you save on dormitory fees, overhead fees, textbooks are included, and then later you transfer these accredited college credits to virtually any college of your choosing. That's how you save money while attending college, while getting that degree you want, and you can be unbound from student debt. <laughs> Make sure to check out Unbound, link to the description to get all the information, and thank you Unbound for sponsoring today's very special birthday video. Now let's get into your birthday food that I'm gonna eat Ooh. a lot of, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start with the pho. Yeah. Ooh, what do you, what kind of pho do you usually get? Go, the, go, go. The beef brisket, the, the, just the P1, you know, like the, the P1, that is P1 so, we're about. that is, okay, we're just gonna And this get... is the P1. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what it is? We don't know. We, oh. we have no idea. Boo -boo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I'm hungry. We don't know pho as well as you do. You seem like a professional pho eater. Oh, I also have some oxtail. Wait, give me your bowl, Hannah. You know? Yeah, give me your bowl. This is a ox. You like oxtail? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like you don't like oxtail, but um, no, that's fine. Try. Okay. I never tried. Okay, okay. Let's try this. Should we wow. put sriracha into this? Yeah. Do you right? want to? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me know when mm -hmm. is enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bits! <laughs> wow. Perfect. Bits. Wow. What do you think? <clears throat> this is our favorite pho place. What is it? It's called Mama Hans. Mama, Mama Hans. Hans. Mm. Mama Hans. Mm. Mm. Hana? hour? No. no, they close at like eight. <laughs> I don't know. Probably six now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. Okay, this is good. Can I get some sriracha down below, sir? The oxtail is really soft. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> hey, our sriracha sucks. Sriracha. <laughs> okay, okay. What the fuck is this? <laughs> we gotta get every last drop, okay? I don't know when the next time we get in another bottle of sriracha is. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just gonna keep it A1 with you, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna be straightforward. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
What did you do last year for your birthday? Last year? Mm hmm. I literally just ate dinner with them. Really? Mm hmm. Then after, uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. hang out with friends. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like every year, uh -huh. I don't get excited. Really? <laughs> yeah. Me too, me too. Do you? You're not excited this year? You no, get like, to spend time with um No not like that. All like, these these famous YouTubers. With the famous Mr. Mango Butt. The most responsible. Most humble. humble. Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, you should be honored. Listen. <laughs> mm. Wow. So with that being said. Mm. I watched a very creepy movie yeah. and you've already seen this movie. How many years ago did you say? Four years ago. Four years ago. You told me I had to watch it. It's been highly requested because a lot of you guys that have seen this movie, you said, listen, this movie's about zombies, but for some reason you relate to it in this time period and that is very alarming and scary. And so I thought I'd give it a shot. I thought I'd kind of watch it and see, you know, how do you relate to anything like this that has a full force zombies inside of it that happened in South Korea? I'm not entirely sure. But then I started watching it and I started relating to it a little bit and that got me really creeped out. So today's entire mukbang is gonna be about the movie Train to Busan, which mm. I felt like was the first Korean movie that oh, I felt I'm like so a lot sorry. of- Oh, I'm so sorry. Should we light a candle first? Oh yeah, Or should we in the middle of no, the zombie attack and then- I'm then like, happy birthday. No, <laughs> no, no, right now. Mm -hmm. Right now? Mm -hmm. All right, this is the second time we're doing it. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Each line, you go Chinese. No, no, no. You go Chinese, I'll go Korean. No, 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 no. No, 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 do it. Thank you to Kahanida. Junisha, you're quite love. Happy birthday, dear Dan Dan. Junisha, you're quite love. No energy. I know. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, make a wish. That was a quick wish. I already know what he wished for. What? Bitches. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's try the cheesecake. This guy only wanted to do this so he could eat some cheesecake right now. I can see it. Yeah. So this is the Oreo one. Okay. <gasps> okay. What, should I eat the Oreo too? Okay. Banger. I feel like the tiramisu mm. will be so good. Mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Today is hitting the spot. Eat the tiramisu one. Dang. Wow. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Dang, dang, dang. <laughs> dang, 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 dang. Mm. Damn, dang, dang. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so lame? Mm. <laughs> I thought I would like the Oreo better, mm -hmm. but strawberry one. You like the OG better? Okay, let me oh, try. just the OG? Yeah. Wow. Let me try. Oh my god. Honey, honey, mm -mm. normally, mm-mm, mm-mm. Let's try this one. Wow. What is this, like peanut butter? Tiramisu. <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> is there peanut butter flavor? Mm -hmm. Oh, there is? Yeah, joke's on you, boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> There's like four. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Mmm, coffee. Yeah. Well, technically, yeah, yes. Yeah, technically, yes. you're right. You know what? Birthday right. boy, right. I like this the best. You like that one? Okay, you can have that. Yeah. All of it. The whole thing. The whole thing. You get to have it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Holy moly. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Can I borrow your big spoon? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to get a nice bowl in here. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to tell you guys the story about Train to Busan, which I feel like was the first Korean movie before Parasite that a lot of non-Koreans were talking about. Got a lot of attention. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that was like the one movie that I was like, damn, these like these people aren't even Korean and they say they love it. But you didn't watch it. No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't like zombie stuff. Mm. I feel like it's hard to get into it because I just feel like it looks um, not real at all. Yeah. Like I really like like psychological thrillers for that case because it's like yeah you probably it probably won't happen in real life but you never know you never know whereas zombies I feel like I'm pretty certain in my lifetime at least I don't think I'll encounter a zombie apocalypse right hope not that got dark boo boo <laughs> okay you want to put some soup in your bowl mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna put some soup I'll put some meat in here and then I'm gonna get started so why do you like this one so much it's just 
kind I think it's like if I didn't watch it during this time where everyone was self quarantining, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. Oh. But there's a lot of quarantine talk in that movie. Like similarity. Mm hmm. This time. So did you like Train to Busan more or Parasite? That's a hard one. I feel so college you wise, I think Parasite had more of those. Yeah, but I feel like Train to Busan was really engaging. Mm hmm. You like get into it, into it. It's like very fast paced. Okay, I'm gonna take last bite. Wow. Mm. It's so good. Here, Kungul. I hate that I always just come out in Korean. Like Konglish? <laughs> yeah, whenever I talk to you. Okay, so Train to Busan is um, a modern day zombie horror film. Keep eating, keep eating. Mm -hmm. This movie takes place in South Korea. Now the opening scene is kind of one that's a little bit eerie because of the conversation that's had. And it's kind of like this small entrance to this small village town mm -hmm. in Korea. And outside it has all of these, you know, people holding up signs. It's a bunch of people that work for the government in like these hazmat suits mm -hmm. that are spraying and fogging down the area. And it says quarantine zone, right? And so everyone that drives by has to get checked up. Their entire car has to get fogged down, et cetera, et cetera. And so this one village farmer, he opens down the window and he says, what's going on here? And then the yeah. man in the hazmat suit is like nothing too serious. And he goes, oh, are you burying a bunch of pigs again? So we can kind of concur, like grab from the information that prior to this, maybe there was a disease in pigs and mm -hmm. they had to bury all of his pigs. And he seemed really pissed off about it still. And they go, no, no, it's nothing about the pigs. It's a, it's a little bit of a, a biotech spill in the area. Uh -huh. Just a little leakage from a little bio, you know, tech company, etc. And then he's like, whatever. And he pulls up his window. And as he's driving away, he's saying things like, it's so hard to believe people these days. You know, if only they didn't keep lying. And then he hits a deer. Oh, I remember that scene. Yeah. And then he's like, God, today's the worst day ever. Shit out of luck. He gets out of the car, looks at the deer, and the deer is dead on the street. Just he's bloody. Fine. Yeah. And the, he looks at the car and he goes, fuck, today's such a shitty day, right? Uh -huh. He gets back into the car, drives away, and the opening scene is the deer ends up getting back up. Oh, my God. And you're oh like, um, this is not going to be good for nobody. Mm -mm. The eyes look like disgusting too. Yeah, they're like glazed over. Mm. Like glazy. So is Busan a city? Busan? Yeah. 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 In Korea. Is that my mom? That's so creepy. I was oh. about to say my, some of my mom's family members are from Busan. I was literally about to say yes. that. Amma, hi. <laughs> Why you do that? <laughs> oh, my mom lived in Busan. It's like uh, the southern part. creepy. She lived in like near Busan till fifth grade. Wow. <laughs> I don't know anything about you. So my mom's from Busan. Um. <laughs> so what's the, di is there a correlation between Busan? So Busan's at Busan? the very southern tip and yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. a seafood. Correlation between that and the, like one of my favorite meal, Busan. Busan? Busan? No. No, man. No, bro. <laughs> no, man. No, bro. Oh, we're different, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's like saying, nah, dude. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. all right. Okay, just making sure. Uh -huh. Maybe Busan is from Busan, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's a good question though. You know? Yeah, maybe ask your mom. Maybe she knows. Yeah, maybe I asked my mom and she's like, yeah, that's our dish. Yeah, Pozan like, oh, is shit. originated maybe, from Pozan. Yeah. Hmm. 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 So, hmm. it opens with that scene. Now we're transported to downtown Seoul, the good area. And you're transported into the office of a trader, a stock trader. Mm-hmm. And he's sitting in the office and this lady's calling him and she's like, I want to sell this, blah, blah, blah. And he seems like he's really stressed out. He seems like he's taken a toll. The stock market is all over the place. He's telling his employees, do this, do this. He's got a plan. Just and, like right now. Yeah. Right now. And he's like, don't worry. I got this, boo-boo. Don't, don't, don't worry. His employee's like, okay, fine. Let's call this man Mr. Mr. Bosam. B. Bosam. Mr. Bosam. Oh, that's a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beast? Oh my god. Mr. Beast? Oh god. Mr. Beast? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> Clickbait. Let's call him Mr. D. Mr. D. Because he's the dad. Mr. D. Okay? Mm. So Mr. D, you know, he's telling all of his employees, don't worry, trust me, do this. Did I tell you to do did I tell you to do this? I told you to do this, right? Mm -hmm. And the employee's like, Are you sure? Okay, okay. And he seems really stressed. And then at the end, you know, the Mr. D goes to his employee and says, Hey, before you leave, do you know anything that kids like these days? 
and then it cuts. Now mm -hmm. it cuts to him on his drive home, and he's mm -hmm. in a car, and he parks the car, and you see that he's in a very nice Audi. He gets out, and he's having a conversation with a woman on the phone that you can also hear. And they're fighting about, you know, why don't we stop this pettiness and drop the lawsuit? And he's like, mm -hmm. I don't care what you do in your free time, but I'm the one that's going to be raising Susie. And so then mm -hmm. she's like, listen, have you even talked to Susie? She said she wants to take the train to Busan and come to Busan because she doesn't want to be with you. Mm. And he's like, when did she say that? She's like, she called me today. Talk to Susie. She doesn't want to be with you. Mm -hmm. And then he hangs up, opens his back seat, and grabs a birthday present. And so he goes up to his apartment. He lives with his mom and a little girl by the name of Susie. I, th I want to say she's like seven years old. It's not confirmed in the movie. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, very nice apartment. And he walks into the room and he opens Susie's door and she's under the blanket. Mm -hmm. And you can hear her saying, no, mom, it's okay. Like, I can just take the train by myself and I'll be there. Just pick seven me up at the old? station. Yeah. Well, and young. you see that his heart, you know, his heart drops when he opens the door and he hears that. Mm -hmm. And then she goes, oh. Oh, mom, I have to call you back. He's here, right? And she hangs up and he goes, you can call her back. And then he goes, she's like, no, I, I already hung up on mom. Anyways, he's like, well, it's your birthday. I got you this. It's your birthday, Dan Dan. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, this is creepy. Yeah. And then, you know, he's like, I know it's been really busy. It's been wild at work, but mm -hmm. it's going to get better soon. And I'm mm -hmm. going to have so much more time. Why don't you not go to Busan? We'll go maybe in two weeks. I'll take you there. We can hang out with your mom and then we can come back. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to spend a lot of time with you. <clears throat> and she says, I want to go tomorrow. And he goes, just wait one week. Can you do that for me? Can you wait one week? Mm -hmm. And then he goes, I got you a birthday present. And she goes, you remembered? And he gives her the bag and she opens it up and she takes it out and it's a brand new Wii. A what? A Wii, Wii, Wii. like the game. A tennis Wii. Oh, yeah. tennis Wii, got it. And then suddenly her face looks and he's like, why? You don't like Wii? That's not what kids like these days. And she looks at him and she looks at her TV and he looks over and she had two Wiis already. And she said, <sighs> you bought me another one for Children's Day this year. And then he said, well, well, just tell me what you want. I can get you anything else. I'll run to the store right now. And she goes, I want to go see mommy tomorrow. Dang. And she, yeah. And then she's like, I don't, I'm not going to waste your time. I can ride the train alone. And Damn, he, that kid is. Yeah. And he goes, okay, I, I'll, I'll ride the train with you. I'll take you to Busan tomorrow. And then that's kind of where that conversation ends. And he goes to his room and he's taking off his suit. And his mom is trying to talk to him. And she's saying things like, please try to work it out. You know, for, for Susie. Think about Susie. Try to work it out with your wife for Susie. You know, that's how yeah. a kid should be raised. Just beg for her back. Reconcile in Busan. Come back together. You know, um, Susie needs this. Look. And then she leaves a camcorder on the bed. Mm -hmm. And so then he goes and he opens it up and it was at Susie's school that day. It was her recital and she's up there singing on stage by herself mm -hmm. the song mm -hmm. that she learned and she's looking around and then she freezes. Mm -hmm. And the teacher's like, that's okay, try again. And she's like... And then he cuts the camera. And so he's like, okay, this is not okay. So the next morning, they get into the car early before the sun even rises and they're heading to the train station. Now, this is where things get a little bit weird. You start seeing fires happening. So a bunch of fire trucks zooming past as they're driving to the train station. And they have no idea what's going on. They're just like, huh, must be a busy, busy morning. Maybe something, you know, maybe there's a brush fire or something. Mm -hmm. And they get to the train station and things start feeling eerie. People are getting onto this train and and I didn't know this, but apparently it's only a one hour train ride to mm -hmm. get from Seoul to Busan. I guess mm -hmm. it's a really fast train. But I feel like in Asia, all the trains are like so fast mm -hmm. compared to like an Amtrak here. Like in Japan too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's like so many different types of train too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you haven't watched it yet? No. Mm -mm. I heard about it though. You mm -hmm. Do it's you think so how 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 is it compared to Parasite? Honestly, I like I like Train to Busan. Me too. Yeah. Seriously? It's more like mm. I don't know. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Parasite is definitely more cinematic. It feels more like art. Or Train to Busan is what? More fast paced? Fast paced. You get mm. into it and you're kind of like. <gasps> Like the entire time, like, oh, push it, push it. Mm. yeah. But then also plot, you mm -hmm. know. That's a really, really high like rating. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're telling me, train to Posan deserve. Posan. <laughs> Posan. You keep saying that. 
<laughs> this is nothing. The other day we were trying to say Betty Crocker and he kept saying Belly, Belly. Crocker. <laughs> and I'm like, Betty Crocker. Okay. Betty Crocker. They get onto the train. Now, this train has so many people. It's like one of those where you know how each train is different into mm-hmm. different cars, mm-hmm. right? There's like 20 cars. And in the first one, there's, you know, a full ass baseball team. You see that there's a bunch of businessmen in there with suits on, just like a day trip to Busan for business. And oh, you're talking about different joints of the Yeah, train. yeah. Got it. And you see these two old women. And so you start to see, okay, I feel like I'm going to see the inside lives of some of these people. So you have the whole baseball team, two older ladies, their sisters, their siblings, and their grandma's age. Mm-hmm. And so at this point, um, he boards the train with little Susie and he's on the phone constantly. And, you know, he's getting calls from work saying like something's happening. Like mm-hmm. oh, there's this one stock that's crashing. I don't know what's going on. Apparently they had a riot within the company and all of the employees are protesting. I don't know what's going on. Right. And so he's mm-hmm. like, okay, well, I'm going to be back in like two hours tops. Just send me a report, et cetera, et cetera. And Susie's sitting there just looking around and then he falls asleep on the seat. Mm -hmm. Now, what he doesn't see and what nobody sees is that right as, you know how at the train station there's someone who's like helping people in and then they close the doors and then they say bye to the conductor and they just stay at the station in the little hats. I can't stop thinking about Harry Potter with that. And so then, you know, they're kind of like zoning out for a second and then they hear a big thud and someone had hopped onto the train. They're like, oh, it probably wasn't that big of a deal. But it was. It was a girl who looked really, really sick. Um, She looked like she was constantly like throwing up or regurgitating. Mm -hmm. And she made it onto the train and made it into one of the bathrooms. Because right when they get on the train, they check your tickets. Mm -hmm. So the train to Busan has many stops. It's not straight shot. So if you don't have your ticket, they kick you off at the next stop. Yeah. Right. And so she's hiding in the bathroom and she's like looking at her legs and they're all very purple and veiny. And she keeps praying like frantically like, dear God, I'm so sorry for my sins. I repent all of my sins and she's like trying to tighten off the blood flow it was just all sorts of creepy right and he she Susie kind of sees some of this happen she's just Mm -hmm. like seeing like little fast movements and she's very confused looking out the window she's the window seat right yeah and the conductor says okay we're ready to go conductor starts driving and as the train moves away Mm -hmm. Susie sees a small glimmer of someone attacking the person that told the conductor to go. The one in the oh, hat. Oh boy. Just so jumped on, attack. like tackled him. And so she's like, did anyone else see that? But everyone else on the train is calm. Mm-hmm. And her dad, she was about to tell her dad, but he's asleep. And so then she's sitting there looking around when a businessman says, hey, hey. And then one of the attendants on the train comes over and he goes, hey, just so you know, in one of the bathrooms, I think there's someone who shouldn't be here that's here. Mm. And then he's like, what do you mean? And he's like, I don't know, talking some nonsense. It's very suspicious. I know you're just trying to do your job, but I'll go check it out. And the attendant Mm. is like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. And then he's like, it's fine. Just go check it out. And so Susie gets really intrigued. And so she gets up, goes past her dad and kind of follows the attendant. And he's knocking on the bathroom, knocking, 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 knocking. Uh Finally busts open the door and it's this homeless man Mm -hmm. right and he's sitting there and he goes everyone's dead everyone's dead everyone's dead everyone's dead everyone's gonna die no one's gonna be alive no one's gonna be alive and then he's like excuse me sir can i see your ticket can Mm -hmm. i see your ticket he's like everyone's dead everyone's dead everyone's sir can i see your ticket and the businessman that reported this walked up and he looks at susie and he looks at the homeless man and he goes See, this is why you need to stay in school and study hard. Otherwise, oh you'll be God, like that. Freaking Asian parent. <laughs> yeah. And then Susie turns around and goes, my mom said people like you that say stuff like that are actually the bad ones. Oh. And then, oh, and then, the, bus- and then the, the businessman goes, then your mom must have not studied well in school. And he walked away. <laughs> And so then she's just watching this, and then the guy, the attendant's trying to help him out of the bathroom, and then she's like, well, I guess I need to use the bathroom now, right? So she goes past another train into the next bathroom, because they're in between trains, yeah, Yeah, the little cars. And she sees this man outside, and he's just standing in line. And so she looks at him, and she knocks on the bathroom door, because I guess, like, kids cut lines, right? And so, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, so she's knocking on the door, and he looks at her, and he's like, he seems like that rowdy Korean Ajashi. Like, how would you explain him? Like, kind of chunky. Like, there is that like stereotypical Korean Ajashi who like cusses a lot, smokes a lot. Like, always has to say something. Always has to say something yeah. to the kids at the table. Like you go to a family gathering and like for some reason a family friend invited him. He's there. He's like giving you life advice. And I'm like, sir, I just met you. <laughs> or he's the one that's like, you know that when you were three years old, I held you in my arms and you peed on me. You peed on me. And you're like, I'm so sorry. I'm sure I peed on a lot of people when I was three. And then he's like, well, you peed on me. And I'm like, okay, sorry. <laughs> like, I don't, like, you know, you know exactly uh, no. what you, yeah and so he looks exactly like that and so he looks at the little girl and he goes Coupe? which is like you gotta go really bad and she goes 
yeah, I do. And he goes, <laughs> well, then scram. Go to the next one. My wife's in there. Dang. And he's like, there's two people in there, right? So she, the wife's pregnant. There's wow. two people in there, so it's going to take some time, right? Wow. And so then she's like, oh, okay. And then he leaves. She's walking away. And then you hear him saying, like, honey, it's okay. Don't worry. So it's like a very weird kind of heartwarming because, like, okay. you see, like, he loves his wife and just, like, really cares. So he's like, honey, don't worry. Take your time. No, no, no. It's nothing. Don't worry about her. She's She's gone now. Just take your time. Take your time. Right? She almost seems mm-hmm. scared. He almost seems scared of the wife. And so, you know, that happens. She goes to the next bathroom and she uses it. Mm-hmm. Now, at the same time, you see a woman, the, one of the female attendants that works on the train, she is passing through cars. And you know how in between cars, there's a little section that's also like the doors are closed, mm. like a oh. tiny no seat, yes. pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she sees the woman laying there, the one that was in the bathroom. And she's like seizuring on the ground. Mm-hmm. And so she gets her walkie talkie and starts walkie talking the man. And she's like, come, come to this number, blah, blah, blah. There's a woman. I think she's sick. I don't know what's happening. And she's like, are you okay, ma'am? Are you okay, ma'am? And you see Susie using the restroom and you see the pregnant lady come out and you see all of these scenes taking place and all of a sudden that woman wakes up Uh cracks all of her bones and stares at the attendant and her eyes are glazed over just like that deer and then suddenly the door bursts through and she the woman in the bathroom is on top of the attendant eating her flesh on her neck like a zombie yeah. yeah and this was the baseball car so all these high school baseball players are sitting there going to Pusan for a meet they're all in their uniform and they see this happening and they all start screaming they start whipping out their bats they're trying to get the lady off Mm -hmm. these ladies both turn into zombies and they both start attacking the entire baseball team it turns into a complete utter fiasco shit show and so then at the same time Susie was at the little bathroom that was like in between these cars and so all the baseball team members, like some of them got away, but a lot of them turned into zombies. They were getting yeah. beaten. They were getting killed. Mm-hmm. And so the male f- attendant that was already headed this way, he walks up, he sees this scene, and he sees someone just burst into a wall, right? Mm-hmm. And it's the the female attendant killing one of the baseball members. Yeah. And she's like, her eyes are glazed over. And that's when he's like, oh, hell no. And so he makes a swift he did a 180, mm-hmm, Dua Lipa. Okay, he did a 180 and he starts running. Now he runs into the next car and he goes, run! And he didn't so, close the door? No, and so everybody starts running, right? And some people are trying to grab their things. Some people are sleeping. He's like grabbing them by the hair, like run, <laughs> right? And so they're all freaking running. Susie comes out of the bathroom. She's like, what the f*** is going on? She starts running. Everyone starts running. At this point, it becomes a total sh- show because the dad wakes up from a call from the employee, right? And they're like, I don't think it's something weird's going on there's riots everywhere everywhere right uh-huh. and then there's news playing on the screens inside the train yeah. and you just see Seoul with so many fires in like the middle of the city in some yeah. these high-rise buildings office buildings have fires erupting people killing people beating people up on the streets and he's like what's happening and he's like i don't know i don't know right mm-hmm. and he hangs up and he realizes his daughter's gone and so he starts freaking out he runs to where everyone's running he finds Susie, and he's the last one he gets toppled over by the crowd of people running mm-hmm. right so they're just trying to get to the other side of the train and close the door mm-hmm. and so he grabs Susie and he starts running 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 and he barely makes it before the, what do you call it? The the businessman who said that there's a man in the bathroom, right? Mm-hmm. He's about to close the door and he goes, no. And then he makes it mm-hmm. and he closes the door. And in front of him, he sees the pregnant woman and the man that are fighting off zombies. And they're running straight towards that door because they want to get in. Uh. And he's hesitating. The door's already closed. And he's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And the daughter goes, I know that man. I know that man. I talked to that man. Oh my god. And then everyone in the car, because there's like, it's sardines, like it's packed in there now. All the people are like, no, don't open it, you know? Like everyone's Mm -hmm. just kind of like, and then he finally opens it. The two rush in, they close it straight in time, and all the zombies just start attacking this glass door. And then Mm -hmm. the the man, the husband of the pregnant woman, he's like, how do I lock this door? How do I lock this door, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, "I, I don't know, I don't know. And Mr. D goes, wait, just try letting go. And they're like, are you crazy? What's wrong with you? And he goes, I don't know if they know how to open the door. Yeah. And so then he slowly lets go and they don't know how to open the door. And so then he's like, see, look, they're they're like attacking us and they're staring at us. I feel like they only know how to attack when they see us. And so then the pregnant lady's like, what? And so she grabs her water bottle, splashes it, and grabs newspaper from the seats and newspapers the glass. Tapes it. And it stops. They're like, what the f***? 
was that, right? And everyone's freaking out and everyone doesn't know what to do. They start, their phones are blowing up, you know? They're like, what do we do? What do we do? Do we get, you know, how do we tell the conductor? What is anyone else in here like going to start attacking us? We don't know. Mm -hmm. And so it just turns into this very tense moment. Mm -hmm. And you even see the, what should we call a pregnant dad? The pregnant dad? Yeah, the dad of the... PD. PD, Mr. PD, <laughs> pregnant dad and pregnant lady. Okay. okay, Mr. PD, he looks at Mr. D and says, Hey, uh, don't you think you owe me an apology? And the dad's like, What? What do you mean? And he's, he's like, either. You closed the door on two people. Oh my you God. owe me an apology. So you can kind of oh see he's gosh. literally that rowdy, right? That's your priority right yeah. now. <laughs> and then the. I'm surprised he didn't say, You closed the door on three people. <laughs> <laughs> Are you interested though? Like, mm -hmm. you want to watch it now, huh? Or not mm -hmm. yet? <laughs> I do. I do. He loves zombie stuff too. Mm. End of the world. The good ones. I Very can't watch them really. The <laughs> yeah. Very mm -hmm. They're all sitting there. They're all freaking out. They're all on their phones. They're watching the news. And in Korea, it's the news is saying this is a national state of emergency. Uh -huh. We are trying to contain the outbreaks as much as possible. Uh -huh. Stay in your homes and don't be worried. Mm -hmm. Is what they're saying <laughs> on the news outlets. <laughs> okay, and so <laughs> you see news playing. You know, national state of emergency. Stay in your homes. We're trying to quarantine the outbreaks. It's just what you hear nonstop, right? And all of a sudden, you he gets a call. The dad gets a call, and he picks up, and it's the mom mm -hmm. who's in Seoul, and she goes, "Hey, sweetie, how are you guys doing?" And he's like, "I'm I'm fine. What's what's going on? Why are you Why are you calling? What's going on? Mm -hmm. I heard what's on the news. Are you home?" And she goes, "Don't worry about me. Just I just want Susie to know that I love her so much. Mm -hmm. That little girl. She's just." You have to do well. You, I know you're busy with work, but you have to spend time with her. She loves you. You just need to show her some love. You know, I know that she wants to be with her mom, but you just have to show her some love. And she's like starting to breathe like very rapidly. Aww. Like she can't breathe well. And he's like, why are you breathing like that, right? And she goes, just show her some love. And then like eventually it gets really, really dark because apparently like in this movie, when you turn into a zombie, you just get very like evil. And so then... The, the last words that he hears from his mom is, um, you know, I just tell her grandma loves her more than anything, even though all she wants is her mom, you know, and she's breathing hard. And then you hear like some cracking in the background. Oh, the and then you hear crackers. that bitch. Like in Korean. Yeah. yeah. About the daughter. And oh. then it hangs up. And so he's like crying. And so then she's, the daughter, Susie, is like, what's wrong, dad? Is that grandma? And then he goes, yeah, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. And so more breakouts start to happen. And they start just kind of like slowly rushing from car to car. They're trying to get as close to the conductor's train part area as possible, right? Mm -hmm. And they're trying to tell him like, hey, what's going on? Like, do you understand what's going on? They're trying to intercom him, et cetera, et cetera. You know there's a way to disconnect the joints between every train joints there should be a space there should be a hammering thing that you just pull it and then that whole block will get detached yeah but um it wouldn't okay. like it's like kind of like it's a different train maybe uh, okay go ahead wait, maybe wait. they needed a chinese man <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah chinese man who's like man fuck these not <laughs> get out of here bitch and so they're trying to make their way to the conductor area right and mm -hmm. they're kind of slowly moving everyone's like take a seat stay calm take a seat stay calm and there wasn't a lot of seats available because the amount of people that were trying to be saved from the zombies like there was more zombies and more cars the two grandmas they're like looking for a seat and the dad finds Susie a seat mm -hmm. and she's sitting there and he's like okay okay just sit here be calm and she's like petting his head or her head and one of the grandmas finds a seat and she's like sit 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 and she's like no you sit and they're fighting right and she goes no you sit and so she sits down and then Susie goes oh hi money like you can sit in my seat mm -hmm. and then she goes oh like thank you so much and like she sits in the seat and she goes into her person she goes you want a candy mm -hmm. and she goes thank you right and then the dad like kind of tugs her away and then they go to where the pregnant lady is sitting down and the the husband is standing and, you know, he looks down at Susie and he goes, listen, at times like this, you didn't have to do that. You don't have to give up your seat for a grandma. Mm -hmm. Right now, you fight for your own life. And then he goes, you don't have to be good all the time. And so then he gets a call, right? Yeah. So then he's like, hold on, I'll be right back. And then the, the, the pregnant dad, right? He yeah. looks at the little girl and he goes, hey, what's your dad do for a living? <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. And then she goes, he's a stock trader. Ah, and then sense. the dad the dad looks at the pregnant lady and sees, see, 
he get he gets off on sucking the blood out of people. No wonder. <laughs> and then the pregnant lady is like, "How do, don't say these things in front of children? <laughs> you just say anything you want in front of children, right?" Mm-hmm. And he goes, "Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong?" And then Susie goes, "It's what everyone was thinking anyway." And so then she's like looking at the belly. I and think then, we should give the most savage award to yeah, Susie. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, dead ass. <laughs> and so then the pregnant lady sees Susie looking at her belly and goes. Yeah, I'm pregnant. You want to touch it? And then the the pregnant dad is like, touch, touch it. it. And then so then she touches it. And then <laughs> she feels a kick. And she goes, oh, I felt something. And they're all like smiling. So mm-hmm. it's like you can see that this pregnant dad is like kind of like rowdy and rough and like arrogant. But he seems nice, you yeah. know. And so. He, wait, he's a funny guy, right? Yeah, yeah, the funny guy. Yeah, the kind yeah. Of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And then all of a sudden they hear from the conductor saying, hey, guys, like this is going to be our next stop. You know, the military is going to meet us there. Nobody freak out. It's going to be OK. Right. Mm-hmm. And so then he hears that and he sees a bunch of business people talking on the phone. And so the dad grabs his phone and mm-hmm. he makes a call. Now he goes into this like more quiet area of a cart. And he, what he doesn't know is that there's a homeless man sitting nearby, the homeless guy from the bathroom, oh kind of like boy. creeping in the carts, right? Mm-hmm. And so he's on the phone and he goes, listen, I want you to get the inside scoop on this area. We're stopping at this train station. They said that the military base is going to be there. Are they going to be there? Can you confirm? Are you sure? Are they lying to us? Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, no, they're going to be there. And then he goes, well, why do you sound like that? And he goes, uh, I don't know how to tell you, but you guys are going to get quarantined in that city with mm. the military. I see. And so then he's like, what? Quarantined in the city? No, I have to either go to Pusan or back to Seoul. You have to help me out. Yeah. And so then he's like, okay, well, when you get off the train station, everyone's going to go downstairs to the opening. Mm-hmm. Just go like to the right exit and I'll have my people meet you there. And so then he said, okay, thank you. I owe you. Right. And he hangs up and the homeless man hears all of this. Yeah. And so he goes back to where Susie is. And, you know, he starts having a conversation with Susie. And Susie is, like, really upset with him at this point. And, you know, she says, you know, the reason I stopped singing at my recital at school the other day was because I learned the song for you and you weren't there. And so mm. I stopped singing the song. This becomes pertinent to the story later. Oh. And so then he goes, okay, well, I'm sorry. And then he's, like, talking about how right now, you know, they need to focus on this and that. Mm-hmm. And she's like, see, this is why mom left you. You only care about yourself. You don't care about anybody else. And that's why I want to go be with mommy. Damn. And so he's like, damn, right? And so finally they pull up to that train stop. It's dead quiet out there. Mm -hmm. And so you have a couple people coming out from the exit, slowly looking around. They see all of the zombies in there in the train near the windows, you know, as they're walking by. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, so they're all like, okay, go this way, go this way, right? Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden you hear one of the business guys go up to the conductor and say, listen, do you know how to go to Busan? And he goes, yeah, why? And he goes, because Busan is the only city that's open right now, which means they're letting people in right now. Every other city has outbreaks and they're being quarantined with the outbreaks inside the city. But Busan, they don't have an outbreak and they're letting people in. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, what are we doing? We need to make it to Busan. Do you know how to go to Busan? Mm -hmm. Get in the train. How many people can fit into the conductor area of the train? We'll lock the door and we'll go to Busan. So they're trying to jack a train? Yeah. And the conductor is like, everybody else has to go to Busan then. I think it started like maybe so, no, the little village area, you know, and then it kind of dispersed, mm. you know? Mm-hmm. And so you, like, randomly you'll see these big overview, like, drone footage of Korea, and you see just fires outbreak mm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then you hear on top of that the governor saying, you know, it's all being contained. <laughs> and then you're like, cool, 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 cool. And so they're like, we gotta go to Pusan. And the conductor's like, well, I need to make sure no one's at the office in here. I'm gonna go check for them, you know, if they wanna get on the train, and then we'll let everybody know. Mm -hmm. And then if we need to go to Pusan, we'll get into the train, right? Give me a second. Mm -hmm. And so he walks away, and the businessman's like, we don't fucking have a second, right? Mm -hmm. And so he just follows the herd of people, and all of these are not zombies, and they start following, and they they start going down this escalator down Mm -hmm. to the opening where it's outside. Mm -hmm. And this time, Susie and the dad, he grabs Susie and he brings her to a separate opening, right? Yeah. And so he's like, okay, we got to go this way. And she's like, we have to let everyone know, you know. And then this is like another whole emotional thing of you only care about yourself, you know. And then the homeless man approaches and he goes, I heard this is the safe way out. Mm -hmm. Right. And then he's like, whatever. And he starts walking towards that exit, the homeless man. Yeah. And so he's standing there and he's like, well, what can we do? And then all of these people are doing going down the escalator. Yeah. And the sun is showing and they see a group of military officials with their backs to them. Yeah. And all of them are like, okay, we're going to be good. 
And then they turn around and they're all zombies. All the military people? Yeah. <gasps> and so they start just crawling, running. Um, this is very different from The Walking Dead because for some reason, South Korean zombies are really, really fast. <laughs> and they're like spider monkeys and they know how to jump and crawl and so fly. Like, apparently, there's different levels of zombie. Yeah. Like the slow ones, like the weaker level one, level two. Those are probably like level three zombies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely a level three. Yeah. They were really fast. I don't know if it's because they were already part of the military so they're like buff and shit maybe. and then they got bit and they're like bro let me let me fucking show you how this zombie <laughs> shit is done they were so fast oh my god you guys should see what? a chinese zombie chinese zombie is the funniest what? They're chinese the funniest? zombie they're the funniest what do you mean funniest so they do this <laughs> they hop, no, they hop. Oh, they with their hop. hand like yes. this yes yes yes, yes. chinese zombie pops and then American zombies are like Yeah, are yeah, they, yeah. Are they fast though? No, they hop. Oh. But they can hop onto the roof. They would just keep hopping. Really? Yeah, in order to get them, like, you know how do you kill Korean zombie? I don't know. Like a gun or something? Yeah. Gun? Okay, Chinese zombie you, there's like these like paper oh. smash on their head. Like forehead. A seal, seal. Yeah, like seal. I thought it was gonna like wait till they hop off of something and then break their legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like put them all onto the roof. <laughs> They're like hopping around. No, sometimes they hop in the line. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I want to take the zombie seriously. Yeah. <laughs> you should. Though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you guys get scared in the theater. You're like, oh my god, zombies. Oh my god. <laughs> Usually they appear in like comedies. Oh, okay, uh, okay, fine. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And so these zombies, these military zombies, they don't play. They're not hopping. Okay, they're killing. And so you have the dude, the pregnant dude, who gets upset and he goes, Lesh! which is just like just weirdly comical because technically you wouldn't be saying stuff like that. And he throws his wife to the side where the stairs are and he hops over because everyone's dying on the escalator because it's a down escalator. Yeah. And so then they start running, 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 and everyone's just getting murdered. Murdered, right mm -hmm. and then they're running past the little girl and for some reason the dad had walked to where the homeless guy was right mm -hmm. and all of a sudden more military men that are zombied up you know appear and so they start running towards Susie and the pregnant lady run past Susie and Susie doesn't know what to do and so she's like ah. so she grabs Susie and then the dad helps the pregnant dad helps and then the dad's running and he's like one of the last ones to make it because they're trying to close the door mm -hmm. and so then the, the pregnant dad is like ah, fuck. so then he opens the door for him and oh. then closes it and so they're able to close it while the mom the grand the pregnant mom the Susie and the two grandmas they're like running towards the train again you know you have the baseball team that somehow made it out of the train that are now trying to kill people and shit like it's just all sorts of yeah some of them got bats yeah they don't play <laughs> they do not play so it's and, like a chasing game now. yeah <laughs> and so they all start jumping onto the train finally the pregnant lady Susie and the grandmas make it onto the train mm -hmm. and the two dads the pregnant dad and and the regular dad, they're mm -hmm. trying to make it to the train. And the conductor and everyone's like, go, 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 right? Mm -hmm. So the conductor's like, are you sure everyone's in? And so the plane start, or the train starts taking off. Is there still a zombie in the train? Yeah. In the back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. And so they start running, 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 running. And the, the dad makes it onto the train. And then he grabs the pregnant, pregnant dad, dad and he hauls him up. And they're sitting there like, oh. Mm -hmm. And so they made it onto the train, and now the train is departing straight to Busan this time. Mm -hmm. What no was stops. that all about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, that makes you very scared, um, you know what I mean? And so then it gets really creepy because you are in a different area with the pregnant mom, the old ladies, and Susie. Mm -hmm. And Susie is sitting there, and the pregnant lady picks out her phone, and she's mm -hmm. about to call her husband to see where he's at if he made it on the train. Mm -hmm. And then someone next to her goes, Oh my god, dude. <laughs> and then they look over, and people in their car are zombies, like looking around. Like, in their like, car? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, so the mom and dog, like Susie, are in yeah. the wrong car? Yeah. In a zombie or car? Or whoever, like they just turned into zombies. Mm -hmm. So they might have gotten bit. I see. You know? And they like made it onto the train as humans, but then they turned. So there's a bathroom right there, mm -hmm. right? So they're like at the joint, and then there's a bathroom, and then they're all here. Mm -hmm. So they're like, and so they're all able to make it into the bathroom, mm -hmm. and it's frantic. Now, at this point, you know, the pregnant husband's freaking out. The dad's freaking out. He can't call Susie. Susie doesn't have a phone. Mm -hmm. And so the pregnant dad keeps calling the pregnant lady, and Susie picks up, and he goes, why the hell are you picking up? And the dad's like, that's my daughter. That's my daughter, right? Mm -hmm. And then she's like, we're in car, like, 15. Like, please help us. There are zombies everywhere. Like, please, please, please. We're in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. We're okay. And then yeah. the pregnant lady's like, you better fucking come and fucking hurry up, fucker, you know? And so then 
he's like, I'm coming, baby. Right? And he hangs up. Zombie okay? can't hear you. Yeah, I don't know. And so okay. he hangs up. What do we do? They look up. And so right now, it's three dudes in that car. It's the pregnant dad. Uh-huh. It's the dad. Uh-huh. And then there's one of the baseball team members. Okay. Right? And he has a baseball bat. And he's like really kind of like seems shy and scared, right? Oh. And they look up and the car number is like nine. And they have to get to 15. Oh my god. And then he's like, I just called my girlfriend. And they said that in car like 15 or 16, there's a bunch of people and they're all safe. We have to get there. Huh. And so they're like, fuck right that's a long way and so they look at car 10 which is how they get to that and it's just all zombies oh my god car 11 zombies and so then the pregnant dad starts taking off his jacket he was wearing a scarf takes that up starts getting bandages (laughs) bandaging up his arms his fists and he goes all right we can do this you know (laughs) and then the dad's like okay yeah let's do this right and then the baseball guy's like Okay, let's do this. And he goes, <laughs> I go first. Baseball dude, you're second. And you, stock trader, you're third. And you should know this by now. But if you become useless, we leave you behind. Just like how you do at work. And so then he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I know. And so they go, car to car. And each car, like the first car, it was like while the train was out in daylight. And it was really difficult. They, it was just a bloodbath. They were just beating everyone up, right? They're killing the zombies? They're like punching them just to get through. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Koreans, man. I got some <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they get to the next car. And this is where something very interesting happens. While they're punching them, they hit a tunnel. So that it goes dark. Uh-huh. Oh. And then suddenly the zombies are like confused. They can't see. They can't see. Oh. And so there's like zombies right next to them that are like <laughs> looking around, right? Mm-hmm. And so then he has a baseball bat, the dad, right? Mm-hmm. And so he leans over and taps it on the wall. And all the zombies heard. Uh. And so they get through. Mm. So they wait at every cart and they have it on the phone of which tunnels are where. And they only have a certain amount of minutes under each tunnel and yeah. only a certain a number of tunnels. tunnels. Yeah. And so they're able to somehow, you know, plan it all strategically. One car, there, they left someone's phone in one section. Mm. And then they went to the other side, called it and stuff, you know. Mm. And they kept doing stuff like that. They released some baseballs, you know, into mm-hmm. one section. And so finally, they're able to get there, right? Mm-hmm. They're able to pass. They get the pregnant lady, you know. All of this was like, kind of like climactic kind of anticlimactic this is where it slowly starts getting like really f***ed up and so that businessman from the first scene he's in car 15 near the conductor's like area and he's you know he's chilling everyone's chilling everyone's freaking out and suddenly he gets you know one of the baseball girls the girlfriend Mm. of that boy he gets up and he goes she goes oh my gosh guys we have good news Mm -hmm. there's gonna be people that are coming to this car they went through the zombies they're all fine And she's expecting everyone to be happy. And the businessman stands up and goes, they're all fine. She goes, yeah, isn't that good news? They're all fine. She goes, what the f*** do you mean they're all fine? Mm -hmm. Do you know they're all fine? Mm -hmm. No, there's no way we're letting them in. You see, you're telling me they went through car after car of zombies and they're all f***ing fine. And so then she's like, are you serious? No, the humans that came in. And so then she's looking at everyone else like, guys, tell him. Like, this guy's evil. Like, and everyone's like, sorry. Yeah, everyone for themselves. And so she's sitting there. She's like, this is insane, Mm -hmm. right? Where's Susie? Oh, they're on the other side. Oh, they're Yeah, there's like a couple cars left, right? They Mm -hmm. have to get through all together. And so then she's like, what the f***, right? Mm -hmm. And so she's sitting there stressed out. And so at this point, you know, they're all fighting. There's, I think, like two cars left. And she had let them know. And car 15 is like, we're not letting them in. We're not letting them in. She's like, what the f***? this is ridiculous they're like do we vote blah 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 right Uh and you have a bunch of people who are heading their way when one of the doors they couldn't keep the zombies in so Mm -hmm. car 15 doors here Mm -hmm. there's a car here with no zombies Mm -hmm. and then the zombies are all rushing here Mm -hmm. and a lot of them most of them made it through but they can't close the door so the two dads are there trying to keep the zombies away they Mm -hmm. can't physically close it they need help they need help. And so all of them are like, open up. The other people are like, open up to door 15. Like, open up, please, open up, please, open up, right? Yeah. And the pregnant lady's in the middle of the car like, honey, you got this. Like, push the door closed, you know? Yeah. And then Susie's like over there. There's like a bunch of ladies everywhere. There's like, it's a shit show, right? Yeah. They're like, open up. And then finally, they're opening it up. Yeah. And they see that there's like zombies, you know, mm-hmm. approaching. And it's like a complete shit show. And like some people are getting through to car 15. Mm-hmm. And the pregnant dad looks at him. The dad and goes, you go get my wife out of here. And then he's like, go run, sweetie. I love you. And then like earlier, I didn't tell you guys this, but in the movie, you know, Susie asked the mom, the pregnant mom, like, what's the name of the baby? Yeah. And she goes, well, I'm married to this lazy f***er and he hasn't picked a name yet. 
right? And then he screams a name and he goes, that's the name of our baby. Yeah, and then so the dad goes, are you sure? And he goes, yeah. And so then the dad grabs the pregnant lady and Susie and they start running, 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 running. The, the reason that the door had opened was because one of the grandmas opened it for Susie. One, the two grandmas oh. were in car 15. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so one of the grandmas had opened it. And so she's like, come, come. So she's standing there at the door opening, like grabbing everyone to come, 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 right? Yeah. And then she lets the pregnant lady and the dad in. And she realizes like the pre- the dad's getting, like the pregnant dad over there is getting eaten. And mm-hmm. she's like, there's no timing for me to go through. And so she just sh- slams it shut. So she saves everyone. This, the grandma? The grandma and the pregnant oh. dad. And so you see all of them just turn into zombies on that wow. side. And they're all just staring at them. They're like on opposite sides of the car. And they're like, well, you, you can't stay with us. And so there's another little section next to car 15, like a tiny area, not an yeah. actual mm-hmm. car, like a little joint area. And they go, you guys have to go in there. And so they're like, this is so fucked up. So they're all walking there and they tie a bunch of clothes to it, you know, so that they can't open the door because these are humans, you know. Uh-huh. They think that one of them's going to turn and turn all of them, you yeah. know. Yeah. And so they all shove them in there, the baseball dudes in there, the dad, Susie, the pregnant lady, you know, yeah. all of these people, the, the girlfriend of the baseball guy goes in there and they're yeah. all sitting there like, this is so fucked up what do we do what do we do when all of a sudden you see as everyone's like so busy trying to keep the humans in the other side one of the grandmas is talking and she goes good riddance good riddance she's like trying to make herself feel better yeah. she's like good riddance i'm so glad you're gone now she's talking to her sister the other grandma that saved everyone yeah she goes your life must have been painful all you do is help other people you never think about yourself uh-huh. you know and then you can see the grandma on the other side just staring and she's like a complete zombie and so she goes over and she puts her hand up against the glass and then she turns around and makes eye contact with the businessman and the businessman goes wait a second what, what are you doing and she opens the door why does she do that because these are all up people i think in her head oh so she's, she's like ready e- to just like even without my sister there's no point in me living oh uh, i see what, why she said that she's yeah. like you trying to help others but look at these people yeah. so selfish and not yeah and she's like ready to die and, and take be with everyone. her sister Shoot. yeah oh that's so freaking crazy yeah all you do is try to help people you know and, and look at these fuckers just... they're like <laughs> keep the humans away you yeah. know she just, she just yeah. like she yeah. like your yeah. my sister sacrificed to save them but these yeah. humans are like no mm-hmm Dang. So and she opened the ca- door. Opened the door. The businessman and one other dude made it into the bathroom, and everyone else turned into zombies. Wow. Now they are on their way, fast tracking to Busan, when all of a sudden they break at a train station. Uh-huh. And everyone's like, what the? why are they breaking at this train station and it's because there was a blockage one of the trains had toppled over onto the tracks so oh. they can't push through yeah. and so the conductor's like listen for anyone who's alive we just have to find a new train there's a bunch of trains here usually they keep the keys here i'm gonna find a new train get on when i honk and we leave for Pusan, okay uh-huh. just if you're alive Good luck. And so he runs out looking for a train to get on. You know, all of these trains already have a bunch of people like zombified inside. Mm. Some of them aren't on the right tracks to Pusan. It's the opposite way. And so he's like scrambling through, you know. And all of a sudden, you know, the humans, they get out. And somehow the business dude gets out. They see this train that's on fire headed straight to the station. And it crashes into them. There's like a bunch of like, it's chaotic. Like people are running around, you know. And so finally you have the dad, Susie, the pregnant lady, and the homeless man who are running. And they're trying to get to the conductor who found a train that works. Oh, okay. Okay. And so he's like honking. And so they're trying to get there, but they're under like the crash of the train, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And so it's this utter shit show. And so they start running, running, running. And all these zombies come. And the homeless man screams, go! And he throws himself at the zombies. And so they get onto that train. And the business dude, he goes into the conductor area. And the conductor's there. And it's like, it's like kind of a shit show. They're like trying to get onto the train. The business dude has turned into a zombie. Uh-huh. And he's trying to kill everyone. And so there's this huge fight that escalates between the dad and the business guy. Uh-huh. And finally, the dad is able to push him off the train. And he opens the conductor's door. And there's nobody in there. And the train, he's able to make it go. So the train's running. Uh-huh. And it's headed to Pusan. Yeah. And he says, somewhere in here, I feel like this has got to be the break. Yeah. Don't press it unless you get to Pusan. Or you have to. Don't press the break. It's Who's going right who? now. The dad to the pregnant lady. Okay. Right? And then the little girl, she's like crying. Uh-huh. And she's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Just stay here. And then he's like, I love you so much. I can't. 
And she's like, don't go, don't go, what? And the pregnant lady already knows. Why? He got bit while he was fighting the business, dude. Oh. He's not gonna tell her. Yeah. His daughter. Oh, and then she's I like, just see. come with us, just come with us. And he was like, no, no, I love you, I love you, okay? And then the pregnant lady is like holding on to her because like he closes the door and the like, daughter's trying to leave, you know? Uh-huh. And so she's like holding on to her and then he walks to the back of the train and he's like turning into a zombie. And the last thing he remembers is his daughter being born and like holding her as a baby. And then he jumps off the track, onto the track. And you see the train arrive to Pusan and they mm-hmm. approach a tunnel. Mm-hmm. But there's an obstruction, so they break it, mm-hmm. and there's just like small fires of zombies, you know, like they're on, like they're dead and they're on fire, like small. Yeah. And the, they see this tunnel that they have to walk through. Yeah. And so Susie jumps off, and the pregnant lady jumps off. And now, mind you, pregnant ladies waddle, mm-hmm. and she was like nine months pregnant. Like that mm-hmm. lady was. I was. I thought there was gonna be a birthing scene in this video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and so she's waddling right through the mm-hmm. tunnel, and then you hear, you see a bunch of snipers, Korean military snipers, right? Mm-hmm. And they're all like, "How the fuck did they get more of these? Like they call them like boogies or something, like these zombies in the tunnel? How did they get past that little entrance, right? Mm-hmm. And then they go, "Hey, sir, we got two more like walking people, blah blah blah." And they're like, "Okay, kill them." And they're oh like, "Okay, God. let me get a good shot, right?" And so they're like aiming, aiming, and then all of a sudden, uh-huh. they're like, "Wait!" And they hear the little girl singing the rest of the song that she learned for the dad. Oh my god. And zombies don't sing. Yeah. And so they're all like, wait, hold your weapons, right? Mm-hmm. And then the last scene is her, the little girl holding the pregnant lady's hand, walking through the tunnel, cry, screaming, <laughs> crying, singing, singing, screaming, screaming, mm-hmm. singing, crying. And then a bunch of And then a bunch of the military officials running to save them. Wow. Very mm. good movie. Yeah. Did okay. you cry? No. Oh, really? <laughs> Am I the only one? I almost cried at the end when she was singing and screamed, the song? Scream, scream singing, yeah. Scream singing? Yeah, that one was wow. sad. I almost cried with the two grandmas. Because, yeah. like, that's so how grandmas talk. <laughs> how, what about the part right? that the, yeah. the dad screamed the name? That's the name for our kid. Oh, yeah, that was sad. Yeah, my mom was when the dad just suicided for her. Yeah. Dang. Because, like, Pusan was clean. I see. So if he went, he would have killed his daughter and yeah, then everyone would have course. Pusan and of course. it's just been bad. Yeah. That's good. Wow, you did a good job. Thank that you. Was a good, I know, good. it was the director, actor. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it already and if you guys are staying home, Train to Pusan's a good movie. They have an animated prequel called Soul Train or something, but it's, um, or Soul Station. Something like that, but it's animated. Mm. Yeah, very interesting. Let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts? And make sure to check out Unbound. And make sure to check out Dan Dan and tell him happy freaking birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I got you, boo-boo. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.